Hi, my name is Evan, and in this video I'm going to go over connecting external devices to your ProColor 3 display. I'm going to go through connecting a webcam or document camera, and hooking up a teacher laptop, either through the HDMI connections, or through our unplugged software, which will allow wireless connections to multiple devices like phones and laptops. First, you'll see I have the Mimeo View document camera set up over here. And connecting that to your display is very straightforward. You just run the cable from the back of the document camera right to a USB port on the side of your display here. And if you're using the Android software with this home screen here, and you connect the Mimeo View document camera, make sure you plug the USB cable into the Android ports that are on the lower corner back here. Uh, it's just going to go into one of the USB 3 ports. And then you can use this document camera application right here. If everything's hooked up, it should load up on screen here and it will acquire focus and you'll be ready to go. Now let's take a look at the Windows side and see how to do that. You'll see I have some document camera software down here in my taskbar. That might vary depending on what document camera you're using. But if you connect this as well to the USB ports on the side of the panel, same way that you connected for the Android side, you just plug it right in. And the PC should detect that as a USB input and using the software that is meant to be used with your document camera, you should be able to see the image just fine. Now, of course, probably the most common device you want to connect would be your teacher laptop. So, Luckily, doing that is quite easy with the ProColor display. All you have to do is hook up a HDMI port and a touch cable. So you should have an HDMI cable and a touch cable running from your laptop to the ProColor display. You would hook them into the side right here. And what that'll allow you to do is share both the video from your laptop screen as well as control the screen from the touch display here. So I've set this up. I'll show you how to get there. If we go back to the home screen, now I have my laptop over there. I've already hooked it up. If you go to the input and select the HDMI port that you've plugged your computer into, it should have this little dot here telling you that it's active. Let's just select that. And there we go. Now the screen is mirroring my laptop, and because I've used the touch cable, I can also control what's going on on the screen. Now the other way to connect your laptop or also the student's laptops and other devices wirelessly is through Unplugged. I'll show you how to set that up on the panel first. If you go here to the sidebar and look for this icon here, fourth from the bottom, you tap that and you will get a setup screen. You'll see here on the left you have a QR code that students can scan or else visit unplugged.app. At that website you'll be able to download the app that needs to run on your device, whether that's your laptop or phone, students devices. Uh, running the app on those devices will allow it to communicate with the panel here, but you can download it using this information. Then you need to make sure that all the devices are on the correct network. They all need to be on the same wireless internet system in order to connect to each other. So um, just check that. And then you can go ahead and launch the unplugged app either on your laptop or another device. So I'm going to go ahead and close this. And then I'm going to move over to the laptop for a minute so you can see it from that perspective as well. I see my ProColor 3 in my device list. I'll connect to that. And then I have two options here, either Share Screen or IFP Mirror. Share Screen will project the laptop screen onto the panel. So anything that's displayed on the laptop will show up on the large screen with the interactive flat panel display. And if it's a Windows PC or a Mac, I will also be able to control it with the touch screen. The IFP mirror option will go the other way. That will take what appears on the Pro Color and display it on the smaller screen. That's really useful if you're trying to control the display from afar. 
So you can use the mouse to click around and simulate touching the screen. So you can actually open and close things from a distance. It's also useful for students who might have some mobility or other accessibility uh, requirements. If they're not able to make it to the front of the room uh, to operate the display, or maybe they have some visual needs that uh, would require zooming in or getting a better view, they can pull something up right on their own personal device, no matter where they are in the classroom.